Hello everybody and welcome to another Too Good To Go and we've got another brand new shop today that we've not been in before. Will it be value for money? Let's have a look shall we? We are going to have a look at the Pound Bakery here in Derby City Centre and see exactly what it is that they are offering. It costs £3.99. Pound Bakery, but it costs three ninety nine. yet Greg's only cost two fifty nine. Will it be more value for Greg's? Will there be more stuff in it? The bag certainly felt heavy on the way home. So let's see what we've got and see if it's value for money. So first off, we have got, oh, we've got some sort of pie. I don't know what kind of, I'm guessing by the size of it, I'm guessing it's a, a mince pie. Some sort of mince pie. Oh, nice bit for some little grab later with some mash. We've also got miniature sausage roll and a cake from a meal deal. From a kid's meal deal, snack deal. Wow, what's the uh, date on that? Is there a date on there? I cannot tell, it doesn't say. It doesn't say the use by date on here. I uh, don't want to risk it. The cake will probably last until Friday, so I could possibly get it to my door. I don't think the sausage roll will last till then, though. But normally that comes with a juice box or a fruit shoot or whatever, and it's part of like a kid's meal. So, oh, we have got a four pack of sausage rolls. Yums. We've also got, oh, we've got a slice in here as well. Ah. We've got festive mince roll pack, free in there. We've also got some echo cakes. Oh, I love echo cakes. Can't beat a bit of echo cakes. And then we've got a tuna mayo baguette. Which actually needs to be eaten by tonight. And then we've got two custard slices. Yes. Nice. And they can be saved for tomorrow. So what I'm going to do, because I can't eat all this in one day. It's got to be all used by tomorrow. I've got a bit of a belly on me already. So I can't really do it all tonight. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back out into the rain and I'm going to see if there's any homeless people on the street because normally there's one or two dotted around. Normally you see more of them later on in the week on a Friday and a Saturday when you've got more people out clubbing and they've got more chance of people giving them a bit of money or a bit of food. But I know there was one or two out earlier that I saw. So I'm going to go out there, get wet again, go out there and give some food to these people because they need it more than I do really, don't they? So I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna see who needs it. Hopefully I can find a few people that needs a bit of food and yeah, I'll give it to them. It could be my good deed, so. Because that's quite a lot, that's a quite a lot of value. If it was a Friday evening, I was here with my daughter, we could get through that in two days. Maybe one or two items could last to the day after. But it's just me here on my own, so, excuse me, it's probably best that I go do something good because I don't want to go to waste. That's the whole point of Too Good To Go is so that food doesn't go to waste. So if you don't have the app, I implore you, get the app. If you're watching in America, you can get the app in America. So get in America, get here. I'm not sure about other countries. I'm not too sure. But you can get it in America, so please get the app. It's good value, as you've seen on my other videos. And this pound bakery has been the best value of them all so far. So, yeah, get the, get the food. So I'm going to go out, see who I can find, see if I can get some food away to some, some of these people, especially since it's raining out there, see if I can find some of these poor people who unfortunately for whatever circumstances we don't know their circumstances i know a lot of them get classed as druggies or you know alcoholics and maybe some of them are but then some of them has just fallen on hard times 
They could be ex-soldiers that have fallen on hard times. They could be just people that have had a run of bad luck, lost the house roof over their head, and now they're stuck on the streets. And sometimes it's through no fault of their own. They might have lost their job or whatever, and then they couldn't keep up with the rent. They've then lost their place where they were living. They've got nowhere else to go. So I like to help out when I can. When I had a bit of money coming in beforehand, I used to go around. I used to go get coffee and teas and that from McDonald's. There's a regular guy that I used to see a few years ago. I used to go in Greg's and get him a sandwich or a Subway every now and then when I used to see him. I don't actually see I ain't seen him in the last two years. I do hope he's all right and is off the street. But yeah, thank you everyone for, and that's a good thing to do as well. If you know homeless people out in the street and you want to help out, get the good, Too Good To Go app, go to some of these shops. Even if you just do one shop a week or one, uh, like Greg's or Costa or something like that. Even if you just do once a week or even once a month and just do one store or two stores, and then go around and give it to the homeless people in your area. I'm sure a lot of them will be extremely grateful. So please, if you can. I'm not going to video me doing it because I'm sure these people don't want to be videoed. And really, I'm not doing it for content on my YouTube channel. It's not what my YouTube channel is about. I'm not going to exploit the homeless and make it look like I'm doing a good deed just to get views. It's not about that. I just don't want this food going to waste. So I'm going to do that. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the bell notification to get all for future content. And check out my links in the description below where you can see my Ko-fi, where you can donate £5 as a one-off payment or £5 on a monthly payment. And it will help go right back into this channel to improve the channel so I can do more. So I can get more too good to go bags, get better camera equipment. I'd love to get a proper camera. And also so i can go other places and i can film other stuff too or for your enjoyment i will try and do a vlog at some point i've not done a vlog in ages these i don't think these count as vlogs but in my normal vlog series i don't think i've done that in a while and of course there was something else i was going to say but i can't exactly remember what it is hmm there are some trains, and I ain't done some train videos in a while. They are coming up soon as well. And that's what I was going to say. I am coming up to my 600th video here on YouTube. 600 videos, crazy. Now, a while back, I think it's about five months ago, maybe six months. I'm not too sure. I reached 500 videos. And I said I was going to do a question and answer. People are going to ask me questions. I will answer them on here on YouTube. Well, it's taken some time to get a, to answer each one of the questions because I don't want to do them just all in, linear, all in a row. So I've done them in stages, answering them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to release it for my 600 video. I put the idea on my 500 video. I didn't know I'd get to my 600 video so quickly. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it for my 600 video. And you, the people that ask me questions, thank you very much for those questions. You will get your answers to those questions. I know you probably forgot that. I, you probably thought I forgot, but I haven't. And it will be coming on my 600 video special. The questions that I was asked and I will answer them and you'll see, you'll see I look different in each part, <laughs> each section of the video because quite a bit of time has passed between answering each lot of questions. So yes, thank you very much. Like I said, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification to give out a day of all future content. I think I've done that a bit better than last time. And I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye for now and take care. So just a little update. Uh, um, I went around Derby. I could only find one homeless person sleeping. Uh, well not sleeping, but he was laying on the floor. Um, underneath the ramp that goes up to the car park opposite the bus station. So I gave him the baguette and the small sausage roll and cake, which he was extremely grateful. I said, is there, I did ask if there was anything he liked or didn't like. He said, at this stage, he likes anything. He's not fussy. So yeah, he was really appreciative of that. I still got a little bit left. They do last till tomorrow. So what I'll do is I'll go out again in tomorrow and see if I can find some more people to give some more food to.
and I'll keep you updated on that in the next video or just like a little extra video. Right. So yeah, thank you very much and see you soon.